So I thought we'd do this little video, kind of a fireside chat without the fire. Uh, because we get a lot of comments on our blog at selfreliantlife.com and on our YouTube channel here. And, you know, one of the biggest things that people always make comments or, or, or have questions about is how, how to come up with the money to build your own house and not have to go to the bank and get a loan or have a mortgage or, you know, whatever. So um, that's probably of, of all the comments that I get all the time. Besides, Kevin's really cool. No, I'm kidding. Um, is that you know? How do you do this? How do you figure out? Because I, I just don't know how I'm uh, how to come up with the money to do this. So we thought we'd have a conversation about this. This is not the first house that we've built out of pocket. The one we just sold after 20 years uh, to move here and build this one. We also built from out of out of our pocket and without having to go get a loan from the bank. In fact, the bank basically turned us down so I said oh well, fine I'm gonna build it myself and so we, at that point in time we were considerably younger than we are now and we had four little kids that we were raising on top of us both working 40 hours a week and building a house and so you have to go where the heck did you have time to sleep or even use the bathroom well we did we didn't. <laughs> well, we didn't. <laughs> so we thought we'd give you some ideas about some of the things that we've done over the years and some of the things that you can do now to create the extra income. Now, we didn't build the first house. Uh, it took us a several years to to build it, and um, we did some, uh, some interesting things to get ourselves to the position where we could have the extra cash to, to put it in. Uh, and, and we built a small house. It was bigger than this. Um, but we did wind up paying for cash and we lived in it in an unfinished state as we got to the point of, of uh, it being weather tight, if you will, and, and started living in it and, and finished it out. So um, we came up, we, we were talking about this the other day and we thought, let's do a video. So here it is. Um, we call it the side hustle. Uh, some people just call it working your ass off, whatever you call. It's it's uh, the extra things that we did to create income above and beyond what it took us just to, to live and, and raise our family while we were doing this. So Anissa has a few and, and I have a few. First of all, we, we had oftentimes had part-time jobs working somewhere else beyond our full-time jobs. And so some of the things that we did was I was a cook in a restaurant on the side. Um, I was a, I worked for a, a restoration company doing construction demolition and hauling garbage to the dump uh, about 20 hours a week on top of the 40 hours a week I already had in my full-time job. So I worked seven days a week through that period of time. I never had a day off. I always was working in some capacity, oftentimes uh, working right after I got off work at my other job and then took off and spent another, you know, five, six hours a day uh, doing, you know, pretty hard work after I already put in eight hour day. Um, and then Anissa, you get you had some part-time jobs you've done over the years. Well, yeah, I mean, I've done um, uh, waitressing uh, was one of the things that I did. I used to be, uh, at, after the season, like bookkeeping and taxes wanted to slow down, then I would go and do waitressing because it was busy in the summertime and I also did really good on the tip. So that was a good return for my, for my time. Um, also have done uh, blogging and uh, made income from that um, with uh, like affiliate links and then, you know, uh, Google AdSense, that sort of thing. Um, the other thing is I've actually taken on clients and uh, friends who've had businesses and such who, um, needed bookkeeping work and so I would do that bookkeeping for them at my house so I did that on the site as well um, what else have I done I used to do house cleaning uh, there's that, uh, that that you can do and you know I, I think it's really important to point out there were several other things that you've done too mm -hmm. Kevin you've done used to build it build uh, sheds for people like right. garden sheds yeah I built um, sheds and, and sell them and, mm -hmm. um, we have both traded our time and labor for other people's time and labor. Like for instance, we had a friend or someone who was building a house. And so Kevin and I went over and volunteered our time and helped them do the framing, which of course also taught us how to frame. I believe that's how she learned how to frame in 25 years ago, whatever it was. And then um, 
he then in turn came over and helped us frame all of our windows and doors in the house and install the windows that we didn't know how to do at the time. Um, we had the same thing with a uh, plumber. We traded uh, work on his place for work on our place. Mm -hmm. um, I also um, traded for uh, a client who was in trouble with the IRS and I fixed their IRS problem and got an amazing, probably would have cost me about $10,000 to do a beautiful tile jetted bathroom in our last uh, house. And I didn't have to pay anything for it. I did that work. Yep. Um, and there's just so many. I built bunk beds for bunk years. Beds, yep. I used yep. to build and sell bunk I, beds. I've done babysitting on the side. You did babysitting. I take care of people's kids, especially in the summertime when school is out. I built lawn furniture, like Adirondack chairs, uh, and, and sold those for years. Um, the uh, the shed thing was was a was a good money maker. We we also bartered oh, outright, nice. so we needed our electrical done in our house, and so we had a friend who was an electrician, and we traded him one and a half pigs <laughs> that we had been raising uh, yeah. in 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 exchange for him wiring our house. So that helped us and yes. and uh, helped him because he wanted to fill his freezer. And so yeah. there's there's just so many things you can do to create extra income and you know, you know, just frankly we we felt that the value of owning our own home outright and not having to have a mortgage was more than worth the exchange of our extra time and effort to go out and gain these, you know, extra income pieces and, and, and bring them into place so we could buy materials and, and, you know, we didn't know everything about building when we were building our first house. And so I spent a lot of time helping other people on their projects, whether they were doing remodels or, or, or repair work or add ons to their house or, or even building their houses outright. I just played labor for them and I got valuable uh, education about how the building processes work. And so then they in turn come and help us when it came time for us to work on our projects. We've also raised uh, strawberry plants and herbs and yeah, put we together an do a lot of baskets and you sold them at a local farmer market. Farmer's market, yep. Thousands that one summer doing mm -hmm. that. Yep, yep. So there's there's, there's just a, there's a lot a of things you can things. do. There's, there are so many more things now that a person can do without ever having to leave their house, yard, or garage to, to make extra money doing what's termed as the side hustle. Um, and easily, easily, without a whole lot of effort, I can't imagine that you can't bring in an extra $10,000 a year doing something. There are so, I mean, I can rattle off dozens of things that nowadays with the internet and the technology that we have that people have the ability to do to make extra income right from their home that we didn't have when we were going through uh, younger and, and, and doing this. Um, you know, there, the, you, you can barter or trade your services for things now without even living in the same state as the person you're trading them to. Yeah, the internet. <laughs> you know, the internet has broadened and wish we'd had that 20 years ago. A, a huge <laughs> opportunity. We were selling things like the bunk beds, the Adirondack chairs, and these herbs before cell phones. We yeah. literally had to pay five dollars for a newspaper ad and then be home to so that phone. we could answer the phone when people would call and say, "Hey, we want to buy something from you." Right. Um, so. You know, there, now there is so much more opportunity. It's so difficult. It's a piece of cake now. <laughs> when, you know, when, when you share with me a comment someone's made or yeah. a painful email that you get that is someone really stressed and, and sharing that they just, they're on limited income and they just don't have any money to be able to, you know, build their own home or their tiny house and, or get out of debt, whatever, whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish towards having their financial independence, mm -hmm. it just hurts me i want to just be able to climb through the email and talk with them and, and tell them all of these ways so we did this video this. so yes. hopefully that helps you with some ideas those were all things that we were you know successfully created substantial extra income you know even if it takes you a few years to build your house so what it's worth it because in the end you own it and you don't have a big payment to make out and it makes it a lot easier to live when you're I mean this is the biggest cost of living in life is is, is you know having some kind of a home or shelter or place to live if you can 
even you know takes you four or five years to to get get a house built and you and you live in a, you know right now we're living in an RV so that we can be on site and uh, keep our expenses down and and have the uh, the, the time and, and uh, ability to put this house together it's worth it because absolutely we managed to get out of regular you know labor jobs in our 40s some people do it even earlier than that some people do it in their 30s i mean you know if, if if it's worth doing and and figuring out how to build and learning from other people do whatever you can to to you know barter and trade and 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 you know earn extra money to get a home built so that you don't have to deal with payments for most of your life so we just thought we'd do this video hope that helped you out and we will see you on the next video